So here we are, we're in the UK, uh, behind me is Halifax Animal Save and we're here to bear witness to the animals before they go in. This is a hell house, slaughterhouse. This one, you say it isn't, but a guy comes from, um, from a restaurant and he said that the sheep, there is a guy one day that comes and slaughters. Rel yeah, religious but slaughters. But it's all in the same place. Yeah, yeah. There's the whole big pen around there, and then quite often we go around there and you can sometimes hear one or two cows just by themselves, just in distress. And we have heard the um, the, the animals, the, the bolt man there, the animals um, go down on there. Okay. Behind me is a chicken slaughterhouse here. And across the road is a multi-animal little small holding slaughterhouse. And today we're here to bear witness to the animals uh, as they're going in and before they're slaughtered. And I'm hoping to use my platform here to, you know, spread a message to people who pay for animals to be in these positions. So today's a sad day. It's a bit wet, raining, but uh, yeah, we're going to do our best to give the animals a, a voice they need. Hey buddy, it's lawful. We're, we're, we're abiding by the law. Don't put your camera this way. Why not? Okay. We're here to film the animals in the slaughterhouse, dude. Do what you want. I don't object. But, but bro, there's no, need to, there's no need to get angry. We are lawfully... Point that camera right at me. Hey dude, how do you know we're filming you? We're filming a slaughterhouse, we're filming everything and we're allowed to by law. Yeah, so it's actually lawful to film in a public space. Um, we're on public land here, we're allowed to film here in the UK. Um, like, I don't know why he would get so upset. Maybe he doesn't want people to know that he's got a murder factory here slaughtering thousands of chickens. Um, that's probably what I think. Uh, you know, it's not very, uh, I wouldn't be very proud to work in a slaughter factory either. Um, so that's probably what it is. Hey buddy, what's the matter? My property stop. Where's your property stop? This is your property line? That's footpath where it ends. Okay. Look, man, we, 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 um, we didn't want to, I don't want to make you upset or anything. I don't mind. You do what you want to do. I, I, I'm not angry about that. It's just that I don't like him pointing cameras up into that way. Yeah, but I've been doing this for four or five years now. And, we, we, and when there's police officers here, mm -hmm. I've been to slaughterhouses all over the world. Yeah. You're allowed to film lawfully in a public space. If we're standing off of your property, we're not trespassing. Well, that's what you're doing right now. Yeah, I'll just come to get this. But if you, uh, as soon as you ask me to leave, I have to get off your property. Look, mate, I don't object. I don't mind. It's what you believe in, right? Yeah. So if that's what you want to do, fine, you can do it. But do it in a nice way. And we didn't do anything wrong. Like we were being completely law. This is how I do every single slaughterhouse we go to. Film the animals, film the trucks going in. Just, just you know, do, we're, we're just doing peacefully. <laughs> well, of course, peaceful. Yeah. But just do it in a nice way. So yeah. The thing is, if you do it in a nice way, you get more sympathy. Oh, dude. You know I've mean? got no. What well, I've got something against to ha what's happening to animals, but yeah. you know, you're probably just culturally it's conditioned. Still to feed people in it. So what can you do? Yeah. It's just the people. You only have a job because people want chicken. Mm. Is that true? Otherwise you'd be in a different business. Well, the thing is, it's been supply and demand from day one, isn't it? Yeah, so you'd be in a different business if people... So more, what we're trying to do is mm. get people to make different consumer choices. Yeah. That's all. But anyway, some people are vegan, some are vegetarian, some are meat eaters. It's what yeah. people want to do, isn't it? I think it, animals are being, you know, killed. You know all the animals are factory farmed? Yes, well, there's certain farms that I, we don't agree with. Yeah. You know, as, as a responsible producer of meat, we know that some farms out there are horrible. Yeah. You well, know? most farms are in the UK. Yeah, you know, most chickens are factory farmed. Some, some, some have got really bad records. I'd agree with you there. On welfare grounds. You with me? Hmm. The ones that have been exposed. Yeah. But so many haven't. But the thing is, there's a lot of people out there that are good farms. Well, like you're talking about maybe cows and lambs have got higher welfare, but when you talk about pigs and chickens, they're all factory farmed here. You don't see them ever on the grass. But then you've got slaughterhouses, which are always... Well, the thing is, we know all our farms where our chickens come from anyway. So the people that supply those our chickens, we know that they're taken care of. 
Animal, subjective. So it's a matter of opinion. Yeah, you, taking care of animals at the sanctuary, maybe, not in the slaughterhouse. <laughs> it already smells like a slaughterhouse here. Yeah. Is that the kill floor there? Yeah. Or is that the fridge? That's the kill floor. That's the, the girl from the holding home there, the garden there, it's the kill floor. Um, you look through there sometimes, there's like a conveyor belt where they're like, taking parts of the animals. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, like uh, sometimes they have like a waste conveyor belt that has yeah. the stomachs and all that, yeah. And then there's the, obviously, there's, there's the container bins there. Mm. Um, and that's where usually it's just stacked what? up with like... Heads in that? I've never seen heads. Sometimes there's stacks of and rows of fleeces. Yeah. Sometimes they're just stacked with like body, just body part, like inside body parts. Mm. But we start trying to clean up and hide up a little bit more because we're here and not make everything so obvious. Check that out. See how they um, objectify the animals here. They've just got like piece, pieces of the cow, the chuck, the rib, the loin, the sirloin, the rump, the round. That's a sentient being. Like, imagine if you started like sectioning off a human being and just going, oh, this is the chuck, the flank, the rib, the loin. It's, it's a bloody animal. They just treat them, commodify them, treat them like food. Yeah, they're worried. That's, that's real fear, in it? Yeah, because when you like see cows in the field, they're just chilling. Yeah. They rarely move. It's a fridge, fridge truck. This is a fridge truck here. This will have, uh, it's either going in to pick up uh, chicken carcasses or... Yeah, I call them a morgue van. It's a morgue truck. How, so would you say, how many trucks would you say come through here a day? Well, we see about three, four. In about four hours? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty modest. Um, still horrible though. So we've got a truck full of chickens coming here. Oh, that smell of chickens, ammonia. Just uh, never forget that smell once you smell it. Rolling in too fast to stop that guy. We're just uh, doing a vigil for the animals here. There's a chicken slaughterhouse here and there's a small holdings slaughterhouse here. Yeah, well, most chickens in the UK are factory farmed and most pigs are factory farmed as well. So, but yeah, they're all slaughtered. So we just, we don't like animals being slaughtered. We think you can eat plants, be vegan. What do you think of uh, slaughterhouses, mate? Don't think very well of them or? Well, no, I mean, my lad's vegetarian. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Have you thought about uh, going vegan? Because it's only because it, all the egg laying hens and the the dairy hen, uh, cows are all slaughtered as well. You know. I have. Yeah. You have. Try and eat responsibly. Yeah. Well. I what you're doing, mate. Definitely. Thanks, brother. Well, let me just grab you something. I've got something for you. Thank you. For that. No worries, man. Made me think. I mean, my lad and I have been having this discussion for a while now. Yeah. Ethically and stuff like that. Yeah, man. But, but like, like, really yeah, really these slaughterhouses only exist because people pay for them, good people, yeah. like. I have no idea, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Well done to you, mate. Good Thanks, brother. Stance, make this thing, Appreciate it, man, eh? Hey. Take care. Legend, eh? He took a pamphlet and he's like, maybe this is. It's crazy how, like, just him seeing the signs, or what are you guys doing, uh, you know. These ones are, like, obviously a small hold will roll up with a trailer with, like, a couple of animals in the back, and you don't use, 
Do they stop? They never stop. Oh, yeah. but we do, we do and obviously we follow them around. If we can get them to sort of slow down. They're dairy cows. That's a spent dairy cow. Okay, so there we've got a small hole to bring in some cows. One of them looked like a dairy cow, so it could possibly be a spent dairy cow, but a uh, little local farm shop here sending their animals to be butchered. You can hear a cow in the holding pen there just really distressed. Cows don't usually sound that distressed. This cow's distressed. Uh, maybe they can smell the blood or they know what's going on or they're just getting really worried. Um, but again, they reverse their truck right down in there so, so you can't see anything. It's just like, what's the problem? If this place is so humane, there's nothing worry, uh, wrong with what's going on here. Why don't you give us a tour? Why don't you let us in and see the slaughterhouse, uh, see the slaughter process? Why don't, why don't you? Is there something wrong with what's going on here? Well, maybe there is, hey? They Holstein cows. Hello, slaughter. Hello, slaughter. He said that's a halal slaughterhouse. So those cows, if what he's saying is true, will have their heads sliced off, uh, fully conscious, no stun bolt. Horrible way to go. But who wants to be bolt gunned in the head either? So I don't know, I just don't understand how a farmer like that can raise animals, you know, connect with the animals and then take them here to have their head cut off. It makes no sense to me. And just throw into big buckets, just, yeah. just the skins of hundreds of animals. Mm. And, and they, sometimes they just, they laugh, they've always got the radio on, they're laughing and they're joking. And yeah. Having, they seem to do it harder, they laugh harder when they know we're here. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's like a little defense mechanism from them or something. Maybe they, or they're just, or they're just deliberately being. Bit of guilt, a bit of embarrassment. I don't know. All right, so these are the birds that are going into this halal slaughterhouse, and as you can see by their legs here, they're just overgrown. Their weight is way too heavy for their size. They just look really bad. Overgrown, feathers dropping off. Oh, darling. So tired. I don't know how long they've been on this truck for. Yeah, so this is how the trucks come in, stacked on top of each other, feces and urine dropping down to the levels below. They've been at a factory farm their entire life. They can, you can smell the ammonia, the feces, just they've lived in their own feces. They're overgrown, just infants but in adult bodies, so they've grown too fast for their uh, bone structure to be able to support, support. And it's just, this is just cruel. These are all individual sentient beings, they're all having their own subjective experience like we do. And you're just eating a piece of a suffered animal when you eat chicken. Chickens are the most abused land animal on earth, by far. They're the most uh, slaughtered land animal in England, in every single country. Apart from fish, chickens are the most abused animal on earth. So it's just horrible. Um, you know, if you think of a parrot, which is also a bird, you know, an eagle, which is also a bird, chickens are just birds. You know, you wouldn't eat a parrot, so why would you eat a chicken? You know, just, it's so normalized eating chickens. And, um, to the point where they call the bird the same thing they, as they call the food. Well, those babies are about to go have their throats slashed open. Um, this is a non-stun slaughterhouse. Um, so they're gonna suffer horrific death in there, and that's it. Horrible life, horrible death. So just in here, there's some little uh, cars, little toy cars here. So they must have children here. This is a slaughter facility where they murder animals, abuse them, stab them in the throat, shoot them in the skull, cut their heads off, electrically shock them to death, 
you know, horrible stuff goes in, on in here. Just indoctrinating them really young. So, hey, this is a slaughterhouse here. These animals are gonna be food. I wonder if they show them the entire slaughter process. Probably not. Probably too young for that. It might scar them for life. Yeah, so this conveyor belt through here is just, it looks like all the uh, feathers that have been torn off. Um, guts and just bits and pieces of the chicken going in a bin. So disgusting really, like they massacre thousands of chickens, rip their feathers off, cut their feet off, cut their head off, rip their guts out of their stomach, drop it all into a bin, send the body parts out to supermarkets. People go in the supermarket, don't see any of this. They smell the feces of the animal, they don't see the blood and the torture and the violence and the suffering and the terrified eyes on the birds. The head is completely cut off and all they see are these, you know, it's almost like, just, just sanitary, like clinically cut up pieces of white flesh that they don't even look at it and think sentient animal. They just think, I'm gonna cut that up and put it in my stir fryer. It's just so much disconnect. If they come here and smelt the crap and smelt the blood, seeing the chickens pissing all over each other in the truck, just terrified poor little birds, maybe that would change their mind on it. Thank you very much. Is she a vegan? I don't know. We don't know what she was thinking. Oh, she said she, she, she never normally she drives down past here, but she just drove past because she was busy. Um, and she thinks it's brilliant what we do, so I told her to come and join us anytime spring. Yeah, we were just having a little chat about it. Yeah, she was just having a little chat about it. Yeah, she was just having a little chat about it. Yeah, she was just having a little chat about it. Yeah, Ah, there's pigs in there. No, it's just the pigs don't like being in confinement, in a holding pen. So they fight, you know, and they get really anxious. So they're just waiting to be slaughtered. It's strange because they do halal slaughter here too, but pigs are really haram. I think eating pigs is haram, so yeah. No, it's just uh, they're fighting in confinement there. So if you see the chicken that they've got advertised in the window there, just looks really like a healthy chicken, doesn't it? But really, if they wanted to be more realistic, they would show like a model of the chickens that were in the back of that truck there with their feathers molted off, terrified look in their eyes, anemic uh, comb, you know, just looking like scared, suffered factory farmed birds. Wouldn't that be more, um, like a more realistic advertisement? Like whenever I see, you know, these slaughterhouses and food groups advertising chickens, they're always looking so healthy, but you know, most chickens on earth, the majority of chickens on earth are farmed in horrible factories. So like, it's completely false advertising. They're conditioning you to believe that these animals are all looked after amazingly and dispatched without any pain. And you know, it's all humane and it's all nonsense. It's all a big fairy tale. So we're about to call it a day here. We've been here for four hours now. Had, you know, some interesting interactions with the public here. Um, they're actually hosing down after probably slaughtering a bunch of animals in here at this slaughterhouse. Uh, sentient beings being treated like commodities and, you know, these people in the, that go into the supermarket and pay for this meat, you're paying for slaughterhouses to exist, all right? The same, oh my God, there's a truck coming. Watch your back. All right, so we'll try that again because a truck come full of chickens, which is really sad. So they've got another 
thousands of chickens they're just going to cut their heads off but um, I'm just asking for everyone who's not vegan to stop paying for slaughterhouses to exist just please just stop funding these industries eat plants choose vegan options everywhere you can be vegan in this day and age especially in the UK and Australia and America you've got no excuses and to any vegans um, please come and support places like this this is Halifax Animal Save run by Gail um, great crew here you can just come and show your support give the animals a voice talk to the public film the animals post it on your social media uh, saves and vigils are really great way to get involved with our grassroots activism okay